Okay, we all back. We're going to start. We're missing some people, but too bad. We're going. <laughs> We're going. So, what's your recipe? Is quite a big theme of what I discovered that we all need our own recipe. So you need to make sure you have one for uh, improvement and engagement of improvements. And you guys, you all have one. We're going to share it quickly now. So mine is very simple. I like the power of three. Number one is challenge. Make sure you're challenging your people. I know it's been said a lot, I've said it a lot, you have to challenge. Number two is share. Share the videos. And I mean, you should be doing it publicly on YouTube. That's what we've been doing, and it empowers my team more that we get comments from guys on the other side of the world on my YouTube channel, and they know, like, they know uh, Stuart, they know Swabek, because of these improvements. So it's for them, it's fantastic that they're helping people on the other side of the world. And the last one is, I forgot. So yeah, challenge, share, begins with a C, never forget, I'll come back to you on that, it's a good one, right Nick, over to you. Alright, alright, sounds good. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about this uh, recently, we've had a couple new employees and uh, they're really great young guys, maybe 18 years old, and I'm like, okay, how can I work with these guys and get them on board with what we're doing? So in our 3S time, I've made groups for the 3S. So for the next like about three weeks, I think we're a week and a half in, everyone's doing group 3S together. So we're teaming really strong people with our brand new 18 year old employees to help coach them. And then in the 3S time, I'm going out and supporting them. And we had a guy uh, do an improvement with his shoelaces. And I was like, oh my God, I want to say something. Uh, oh, you just did an improvement with your shoelaces. I went, oh my God, that's, that's so cool. And I had him do a little before and after video and coached him through it. So, so doing that really small stuff for a new employee, new 18 year old guy, that's my, uh, that's my secret there is just, that's it. Hello, uh, I come from India, so we think in Hindi and then translate in English, so <laughs> I have no choice but to read it from my phone. Uh, whatever I have implemented so far, it's, uh, those are all tried and tested methods from 2 Second Lean community. Everything available in the books, 2 Second Lean improvement starts with I. And then numerous videos I watch on YouTube from Norm and so many other Ryan. <coughs> The most uh, important one which worked for me is trust and uh, patience. So keeping trust in the abilities of your people would really help. A recent example, uh, you know, warranty claims. We have reduced the defects considerably, but still there are warranty claims. And every warranty claim was supposed to be approved by me. Then we taken away that approval that, uh, okay, anybody whosoever has a con customer interface can approve the warranty without asking for from without taking an approval from anybody and it's it's working well uh, you know it's not only that talking about i have trust in you actually exhibiting and showing that yes they are capable people they can do it thank you okay so for me a couple things that come to mind with our recipe uh, it's different than everyone else's um, in some ways. Uh, the main way would be consistency. Uh, I think doing the things over and over repeatedly, you get better. The morning meeting, those kind of things. Like there's, it's just insane to think that my team would not have a morning meeting without us there or without me there. That's happening. The other thing that's really unique, I think, and, and I think a lot of people in this community, maybe not the people in this room, but they get caught up in how Ryan did it, how Paul did it. I think what, what's unique to the recipe, it's like the cookie thing, right? We all have a little bit different take on that and it's applying the principles and the tools that we have to fit, to fit our needs, uh, to fit our circumstances, our challenges that we have that day, that week, that month, so on and so forth. 
So I don't think there's any secret here, but you have to take these things that you're hearing from all these great people that are here and apply them in your own way. So that's my secret. Um, from our side, it's, it's changed over the years of um, how we've approached the improvements. From an engagement point of view, the morning meeting by far and wide is the most important meeting in our entire group. And during COVID, when we stopped it for two months, we saw the impact of that on the culture. So that was a real, really useful, um, and we restarted it against everybody's desire to restart it, but it made a difference. From improvement side, it all, from my side, it all is about the expectation of setting that expectation for the leaders and setting the expectation up for the team members to provide clarity. Um, I think I've said many times, you know, we have this saying of clarity, you know, allows your focus, then with focus you can unite, and then when united together then you can take action. So we, we talk about that a lot within within Rotatherm. And something recently we've been doing over the last sort of 18 months inspired by Stefan is we're taking a lot more of a data. So we're trying to make data-driven decisions on the more difficult things. Where we, you know, where we can do a fix what bugs you, we're putting those in, but otherwise our improvements are being driven by the data and that's made a huge impact for us. So you know, big thank you to Stefan for showing us that. Thanks guys, and I remember my last one. It's probably good timing actually. You're ready for this. Yeah. We need it. Yeah. Celebrate, obviously, right? So there you go, celebrate, thank you.